Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. As you guys can see, I am over on like my Fortnite. This is starting this video a little bit different. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the new settings which have just been added to Fortnite and basically the new interface. You guys can see I've got this um skin. It's like a new a new um unlockable style for the, the Makey Master. So like, it's kind of nice. Like you got this one here, the default, and then you got this. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to think about it, but I'm just going to use it for the sake of this video. Yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be going over all of this stuff in the new update today they've basically updated all of this and like there's some new there's some new features actually on within this little section right here and we're mainly going to be covering this right here direct x version and telling you guys which to use if you guys want to use direct x 11 or direct x 12 so we're going to go through that all in this video so yeah without further ado let's just get straight Okay guys, so we're just going to get straight into it, if you guys didn't realise, as you can see, this has all been updated, so, um, I know this bit, wait, I don't know where it is, I think it's this right here, it's always been like this, like this, but then they just didn't update the rest, like, so the interface was old, so, um, for example, this one, this is old and how it used to look, and this is how it now looks, like, at least on the video section. So basically, I don't know, they've just changed it a bit, um, I think there's some more options for certain things, so, with, uh, your resolution, I mean, you know, we've got the window mode, all that same stuff you guys want on full screen, Resolution, they've changed it. Um, resolution, there's a lot more like choice, I think. Or I have added that like quite a few. So to this one right here, 1904 by 1071, I did that in myself. Um, this is a stretch res, or what would be considered as a stretch resolution. I did that myself. Um, same with this one, I did that myself. But they're all on here, so like there's more um, uh, uh, like options to choose from, I guess now. So you have more like variety when actually in the game, you don't have to keep restarting your game to change your resolution. For the FPS, I'm still similar, I guess. Brightness, I feel like you can now go higher than usual i don't think you could go that high before maybe they've like you can go a little bit brighter now i'm not 100 sure if that's correct but i'm pretty sure you can now get to 150 and it used to be only 100 i'm pretty sure i may be wrong this right here is new the user interface contrast now that's weird i don't know if you guys can see it on the recording but it basically just changes the contrast and you can do it directly through the game rather than in your like graphics card settings or your like graphics card control panel or even just on your monitor you can do it directly through the game so that's kind of cool um i guess you guys want to play with this i feel like that looks really cool 1.1 looks really nice. It looks more saturated and I feel like the colors are gonna look a lot better. Or maybe just like have it on like I know, actually a 1.5, it's kind of nice. Color by modes are actually just the same. Color by strength, I feel like you can make it higher now. And oh, no, okay, no. I'm pretty sure they've all, that's just all the same. Same with this stuff, it's basically just the same. They've just laid it out in a different manner. So I don't know why my 3D resolution was down, but you want that on 100. And yeah, it's just all in a different manner. And yeah, what we really want to talk about in this video is this down here, the advanced graphics. So V-Sync, Motion Blur, you guys will know about them. You want V-Sync off, your Motion Blur off, unless you want Motion Blur on. I don't know, that's your personal opinion. But there's a Direct X version. So there's two here there's um it does say this when you switch it but this is direct x12 and there's also direct x11 so as it says right here direct x version select which low level rendering system to use direct x11 is a default and has been more extensively tested direct x12 is newer and has not been tested widely but may offer a performance increase over direct x11 so what this is saying is direct x12 it's a new thing as you guys can see it's in beta mode but it's new but it could potentially give you higher fps so this is something you guys want to play around with what has been suggested for new graphics cards so if you guys have something like the 2080 ti the 2070 ti maybe 2060 even a 1080 ti and above you guys want to be playing on direct x12 without a doubt because this is basically optimized for newer graphics cards it basically uses less cpu performance and prioritizes your graphics card over anything and basically just focuses all your graphics cards power on any new updated graphics card driver and puts that all into fortnite and direct x12 does that and basically just focuses all all like the performance into fortnite what this does is apparently offers a, a better a better in performance and increased fps over direct x11 so if you do have a new updated graphics card you may want to use this on direct x12 and that's like guaranteed you guys want to use that on direct x12 it will give you better performance a smoother frame rate probably just give you more consistent frames and overall just increase your fps who doesn't want more fps but if you're on a lower end graphics card maybe a 1050 ti 2060 2070 maybe or lower you guys want to be using this right here which is direct x11 this is literally just like the the old fortnite we've had direct x11 for a very long time and you'll just basically have the same frames there won't be much a difference to your game and you won't have to worry about anything your game's just gonna run the exact same but yeah guys i don't know i'm making this video just to tell you guys that this is a new setting you guys need to play around with it if you have a new graphics card a new updated one without a doubt go straight to direct x12 don't think about it and you're gonna get a um, better performance on direct x12 you guys are gonna see better fps i don't know if you guys are a bit skeptical on what to use i say you guys do go ahead and use direct x12 um, as it says right here when you switch you will have to restart your game for it like actually to take effect 
effect. So you guys can um, switch between the two, go in and out your game and see what runs better, see what you get more FPS. I'm sure there will be people doing very few tests. I have a 1050 Ti, so I'm probably going to have to have to stick with um, Dirt X11. But I'm going to try out Dirt X X12 and um, see how it goes, I guess, and see if I get better FPS. Today's video was just a quick video. I didn't want to just, I just basically just wanted to quickly go over this. Alright, you guys, if you have a new graphics card, you guys know you have a new graphics card. I'm sure you will. If you guys want to use Dirt X12, you get better performance. And if you have a low end one, you probably want to keep it on Dirt X11. I just wanted to make this video so there's no confusion. Everyone knows exactly what they're doing and they just they just know what to have it on. I guess it's just best to try it out. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys end up using and if you guys whatever you guys like, I guess. Tell I me mean, what works better for you and, and basically just comment like comment down your graphics card down below and then comment down what works best for your graphics card. I would like to see that. If you guys did watch to the end of the video, you guys know what to do. Drop a like, subscribe, post notifications on so you never miss an upload on my channel. You can comment note to gang then down below and potentially get a shout out in my next video. Video. Open likes helps out more than you think, pushes the video out to further people, and yeah, helps out more than you think. It takes two seconds, you can do it right now as I speak. Hey guys, that's about it for the video. Um, once again, you have a new graphics card, Dyked X12, you have an older one, Dyked X11. Just so you guys are not confused, I had to make this video. It's kind of mandatory for my channel, but yeah, I'm gonna try each out and probably make an update video and tell you guys what I think. Because I haven't got much time on my hands right now. But yeah, I thought I'd just update you guys on this little feature. Um, but yeah, Dyked X12 is meant to be good. It may have a few issues, as it says, it's in beta mode, it's kind of a new thing, but we never know. It may just work out better for you guys, so give it a try, let me know what you think, and yeah, that's been, it's been your boy Farfetch, and yeah.